that! Today I will be reviewing the upgrade monthly art box. Let's open this up. Oh, okay, opening for real now. A very nice ladder that I uh, struggle to open. Oh, ah, uh, okay, opening slowly now. It talks about the pens inside the box. What else? A card, sticker, card, more cards, a postcard, a shiny ghost, a pretty print and an interview with an artist, papers and one side is smooth. Let's unwrap this pretty thing and hear what you are most looking for, art supplies. Wow, I've never played with markers before. I feel so cool. Broad tip and fine tip. There's also the markers box with Halloween themed colors. Okay, now let's check them out. The white gel pen writes so well over the dark colors. And the micron is very good as expected. Love it this color team, so warm and pretty. Here I did a swatch so you can see. Do I look like these nice YouTubers now? Also here is a small paper about the brand pens. Now let's draw with the supplies. I start the sketch with the Stabilo Otello pencil. It's a 3H equals 4.5 pencil. Eh, uh, whatever it means, it's a pencil. I'm going to do my Yossi Niwa with comfy clothes and Santa hat to change the theme. Yes, I am a savage. I am mean, not going to do Halloween theme because it's over now. Also to show you that even if you are restricted with colors, you can still come up with different themes. These are warm colors, so fits winter and autumn very well, right? Let's ignore every country that's going through summer right now. Here I changed the idea, which was going to be my OC holding a gift box to something simpler. Because I wasn't liking how the arms and hands would be positioned, and let's start inking. Whenever I draw on paper, I struggle to position it well because I'm used to be able to transform and rotate like a dual computer. But drawing on paper helps me to figure out my mistakes, so it's a good as learning process. Talking of changing idea, the eraser is hearted. Hearted? Rar. What? I don't know to say the brand names, <laughs> but it says natural rubber eraser. And it works well, yes. Gosh, I love my chrome sakura pens. This one is 05. And for drawings on this size, works pretty well for me. One thing I really like doing is making some parts darker or thicker. I feel it gives some depth to the lines. Done with inking, I erase all my pencil sketch. Some time ago, I used it to get nervous over inking on paper. But now I am just meh, it's traditional, so part of the charm is the little mistakes. I only played with Crayola markers before, so this is new for me. So excuse me any markers users out there, I am a noob. Oh yes, I am using an extra paper to test the markers. Her eyes are actually green, but let's go with yellow here and call it monochromatic art. Yes, I'm a genius. I use two shades of pink for the skin, just on the darker parts. The white paper will be the base color, since I don't have a lighter pink. I used pink to shade the inner part of the hair because I wanted some nice color variation instead of just using darker yellow. Oh, this is an effect I really like doing, that's making the borders of the shadows slight darker because it creates more contrast. The hat I colored in parts, and yes, I'm using the fine nib, because I can see myself doing mistakes using the broad nib, I'm a mess. And hair overall is going to be of the same color, it's Christmas time, yay! 
I like Christmas decorations so much, especially the lights, makes me feel so comfy. I picked a darker yellow to color the sweater. At this point, I wasn't sure how to color it, because I want to keep the contrast, but the white parts were too much and not looking so nice. So I decided to fill in, but keep smaller white bits. And see, I used the broad nib and did a mistake. Ha! I told you! I used the wrong yellow to shade this part of the sweater. Oh well. So here I go, full of confidence, to fill in the yellow part. Oh, right! I should talk a bit about the markers. They are Graph Master, alcohol based ink. The broad tip is 7mm and the fine tip is 0.8mm. They dry quickly and it says that's water permanent. The brown has another kind of markers, like acrylic paint and aquarel brush, as well pigment liner and fine liners. In the end, I go over with the micron pen, to give it a bolder look. By the way, this pen is also waterproof, so it's a great one to use for traditional art. Overall, playing with these art supplies was very fun. If you want to subscribe to their monthly boxes, check the link in the description, they ship worldwide! I will admit that coloring with markers is relaxing, makes me feel like a kid playing with coloring books. I hope you enjoyed this review, thank you so much for watching, bye bye!